guys. Uh, this is a 336E excavator. And when you check the oil, uh, we're gonna go. I'm gonna go right away to one spot here. Uh, see the way the uh, the the boom sticking out here like that? It's supposed to be lifted up in the air and the uh, the bucket flat when this is checked for the hydraulic. We're gonna go right into the hydraulic right away here, guys. Uh, the hydraulic is right in here, and if you can see right in here, there is a. Uh, where it's at right now is full. There's three different lines there. And the middle one is full. So this is actually just a tad low, it looks like, just a little bit. But not too bad. And uh, that is your check site. And then the fill is on the top of there. We're going to go up there and check out the fill site. Okay, here's another thing, guys. We do not want to uh, be uh, look, checking this out when it's running are really hot because what's in that barrel uh, under pressure you will be wearing it so you do not want to do that make sure uh, uh, you do it in the mornings and and let the the pressure see hear that he's got pressure right there I don't know if you heard that through the camera but there's pressure in there make sure you just don't whip up here and take the cap off so uh, there's one thing and here's the other fill cap for the fuels right here just like anything else on the site, lift up, turn it, and then you take your cap off. Just like that, right there. Okay, and here's, an, uh, here's another uh, point right here. This is part of the, the, uh, part of the hydraulics here. It's not the main hydraulics, but there's a dipstick you may want to check out, out right here. There's a dipstick there. Make sure you got fluid in that baby there. And again, there's stickers inside these vehicles. will tell you what kind of fluid goes in what area. Any questions, go to your supervisor. Uh, there is the, uh, uh, the tank over here, guys, uh, for your uh, radiator. And uh, that's the fill part. And then here is the dipstick right there. Go show them the dipstick. Uh, Right there is the dipstick. Kind of hard to see it's black there, guys. So there's your dipstick for your motor oil. Uh, right there, check that. And the fill point. Ben, where's your fill point at there? Maybe hiding underneath that. Oh, right there's the fill point right here, guys. So there's your fill point right down there. Make sure you use a fill to, uh, uh, a funnel there. And that's the main things on this to check every morning. And this unit here, if you're lucky enough to run this, there is your automatic greaser right there. So you don't have to worry about greasing. And then the cab controls, uh, uh, it's just something that you're going to have to get in there and we'll have, I can't really do much on the video. Uh, it's kind of more of a uh, training in the field type of thing with all the, in, uh, there's a lot of stuff extra in this than any other, other rig. The, Excavators definitely have more controls than anything else, so that'll be more on the field training when we get to that point. The dash will show you how to run this one. Okay, guys, just gonna go over uh, review with the tracks. It's about the same as anything with tracks. Clean them in the morning. Make sure these uh, this down here. Let me see if I can get my light on there. These here wheels. Make sure they're spinning. They got it because you do not want them uh, not spinning. That's why it's so important to keep your tracks clean. Uh, it's not that they can't move with them uh, frozen. It sometimes it is tough to move frozen, but the thing is, guys, you definitely want to do it uh, right here because it will flatten these out and it'll flatten the, the the wheels out and it'll flatten the tracks out and ruin the tracks. And they're super expensive. Don't want to do that. Just common maintenance. Again, on this, look for loose things, leaks, um, or something that looks like it's broke, cracks. Uh, always walk around your machine and take a look for it, everything. And that's about all on this one. Uh, that's, that's about it. Everything's pretty much uh, uh, in the cab type stuff, and we'll do that on the field. Thank you very much. This is a uh, Lieber Construction video. Roger Lieber signing off on this one.